three. So what I like about this thing is it actually scans like really fast. I'll wait for it to go. Don't pay attention to the names, look at the number. Because some of the names are the same. So it scans really fast. Um, I haven't really messed around with it much since I first got it. Um, but it seems okay. I didn't like how they had like put the sticker on here crooked and I moved it with a popsicle stick and kind of damaged part of it. Like it was like this clear. So anyway, they couldn't even put the label on the damn thing correctly. Um, it's okay radio. Um, I would like to have seen a rubber PTT. But... Um, What's nice about it over the Bofang is it's got these buttons here and you're dedicated. You don't have to guess what these buttons or secondary functions are. And here's the scan uh, logo. So uh, a lot of it is a little bit easier to use because of that reason. Um, let me go ahead and sit down here and show you guys. So it lights up really good. It's um, not the best in bright daylight but none of them are I haven't seen a color screen that's visible in daylight um, I mean when it's you know not bright out you'll be able to read it pretty easy but if you can get it on sale like I did for 19 bucks then I think it's a good deal um, but I wouldn't want to pay much more than that. It's kind of big and clunky. Without the belt clip, it wants to slip out of your hands. And you can get the battery with the USB for another 17 bucks. Um, but like I said, it's locked to the hand bands. The PTT isn't rubber. These are rubber. Um, you've got a crappy, uh, light on it because it's not on the bottom where it should be. <laughs> Uh, you need a battery that screws down that's not compatible with the Bofangs. So, you know, it depends, you know. But one thing that is nice is that the the screen is recessed behind the plastic, so it's less prone to getting scratched or damaged. Um, other than that, it's a, a UV-17 with some changes.